Hey everybody, if you love camping as much as we love camping, and then don't it, like getting off the ground, then this is definitely the video for you. Yes. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kay. And today we're gonna talk about camping and what we use for our camping trip, motorcycle camping. Yes, we have a 2005 Aspen Classic Pull Behind Motorcycle pop-up camper that we absolutely love. And we named it Patches. You guys have seen Patches before. In today's video, we're gonna show you how easy, how easy it is to set up and how quickly you can set up with one of these campers. It doesn't matter what brand you have, we just happen to have Aspen. Right. But before we get to that, make sure you stay tuned next week when we collapse it down and show you how we do it compared to how Aspen wants you to do it. We just have a better system. <laughs> <laughs> we do. So here's Patches. And remember, this is a rush job. This is our hurry job. This is our, oh wow, it's about the rain type job. Right. Or it's dark and we just want to get in there and go to sleep. So right. we're going to show you how we do it without the full setup, but just setting up Patches itself so we're going to start a timer and we're going to start on it yeah we're going to keep it a real time one of the things we've done before when we were in south carolina we do this a lot not south carolina south dakota the first time we've done it yeah and we do it a lot we'll get to the campsite do our rush camp setup that you're going to see and then go out for a ride and then we'll deal with the rest either later when we get in in the evening or the next day right so you have the timer set i got the time i'm ready okay let's get started i'm gonna hit start just put it on right there. And go on that side, I'm gonna throw it on this side. Remember, like we said, this is our rush job. And- First thing we have to do- You gotta get here and talk. First thing we have to do is unstrap the cover. Yes, when we remove the cover, there's what, six strap that we take off? Yeah, it's held down. And what we normally do with the cover is either put it behind the camper or on a table. Have a table. We'll put it on the table. But right now, we're just going to sit it down. Okay, the next thing we're doing is we're going to put the bed down. Move our rugs out the way. And push it up. Push it up. It's supposed to be easy. <laughs> And then we put our bed down. And as you can see, if we were to put all this under the bed, if it was raining, it won't get wet. Next, we're gonna unzip it, open it up. Get it? We're opening it, that way we can get in the inside and finish the setup. Right. And here's where it becomes simple and fast. So we go here, pull this back. Pull this pole up so you hear it click. I heard my side click. Actually, my side came out. Then we go inside. Yeah, I pulled it too hard. Once we get inside, come on in. And we lift the center up. In the center, we just lift it up till it clicks. And another one we lift up. Then we'll have to go lift up inside. this. Don't worry, we're gonna bring in the inside so you can see everything we're doing. And get the pole. There are two poles that we're getting out of here that hold the front pole and the center pole, and then the center pole to the hold back that pole. So we're putting the center pole up, get this side lifted. It makes it a roof pole just in case it start raining on you, but they aren't required. And then we put the front pole up. And then you lift the bed pole up. This one normally just springs up by itself. Yeah, it has a spring on it. And let me just make sure it's all the way set. And basically, for a good night's sleep. 
we are done. We're set. So we're gonna come outside. Separate the mattresses and put the mattresses on top of each other. Yes. We're gonna come outside and show you what was going on in the inside while we were setting it up. Okay, we're gonna bring the camera in the inside. And just for, this is our rush job, so we don't stake it down and we don't level it. Exactly. So what we normally do is for leveling. Oh, not leveling, staking it down. Our stake down, we usually use our seat bags to keep it down. So let me check and see how much time it took to put that up, even though we kind of stumbled through it. Three minutes, 45 seconds. So you can be having shelter out of the weather Three minutes and 45 seconds with one of these things. Now, there's some time that we take, we don't use the regular mattress, we use air mattress, so it might take a little longer, but at least we are inside and we're out of the elements outside. So we're gonna bring it in the inside and show you exactly what we were doing. Okay, right. now that we're on the inside, we're gonna show you what bars we were pulling on on the outside to keep the tent standing. This bar right here, goes up. That's for the front of the tent. You pull it until you hear a clicking sound. Once you hear that clicking sound, which is made by this button right here, that's when you stop pulling it. It's also a button on this side. Just so you know, after you hear that click and you keep on pulling it, you will pull this apart. It just goes back together and sit it on that button. The next one we raised up and listened for the clicking sound was the second pole, the bar. Again, you raise it up till you hear the clicking and it connects and it goes all the way onto this side and here's the button on this side too. Once you raise it up, click, that's it. The third one is just a lift up bar. You just lift it up, it rests down on top of the mattress right here, and you just lift it up right here, and that's it. You don't have to do anything or listen for any clicking sound or anything. And the fourth one is the one back there that's by the window to support the back of the tent. You just lift that up also. It has a spring. It has a spring so it stays in in place for that. Sometimes it raises up by itself, sometimes it doesn't. So when it doesn't, we just lift it up and do that. Now next thing we done was we went in here and we have some poles that we put in here for supporting the two bars that we raised up. Got them? And the first bar, it's right here. It connects the first and the second pole. Connects them to the second pole we use is right here. I can't reach it, so I can't touch it there. Get on the bed and touch it. And it connects to the and it connects to the third bar. And I believe that's it. Once we put patches up, we're inside, we're safe. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, that's our rush job. We actually had to do this in, in the storm. In Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Florida. The time where we saw the bear. Remember the bear came in? Yeah. That's where we had to do the rush job. It was actually storming that day. Water got in the inside, but very little water got in the inside. But we were able to sit inside, relax, and get out of the elements of the storm until it subsided. And then we finished putting our full campsite up. Right. Oh, the one thing we didn't show them that, that we, they didn't see was the wheel chuck. You oh. want to go outside and show them that now? Yeah. Let's go around and show Yeah, we always put the wheel chocks under the wheels to keep it stable. And we do this in our rush job also. We don't just do it in a full thing. It's here. That one there? Yeah. Put the wheel chucks, because remember, we didn't stake it down. Didn't level it and we didn't level it off. So you have to keep that in mind. We just put it up so that we can stay dry from the storm. Yeah, when it comes to leveling, we're not worried about too much stuff when it comes to leveling because right. we have 
a big air mattress that we use so you got to take that into account also when you're setting up a rush job and all these these campers set up extremely fast you see we got our set up to where we can actually get all the elements in three minutes i think it was three minutes 45, 45 seconds, seconds the yeah. quickest we ever done it was two minutes and 30 seconds but if you're thinking about going and get this it doesn't matter what brand you get just go out and get it it will take your camping to a whole new experience remember you wouldn't have to get up off the ground if you have one of no, these no 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 and it comes with a king size bed and you can pull it with a small car if you're watching this and don't have a motorcycle you pull it with a small car yes they're all over the web you can look at where we got this from we're looking at ebay we've got this or we got it off craigslist craigslist yes all over ebay people who use them and, and no longer camp or for what reason they come in pretty cheap and they are wonderful we absolutely love you anything else to add um no that's it so this is our rush job you gotta make sure you come around for the next video next week so you gotta subscribe and ring the notification bell because next week we're gonna talk about taking it down and what we do towards the end that aspen doesn't we just think ours is just better right. when we take it down like that and also we actually was going to get a different brand trailer you want to check around so you can see the yeah, different brand trailer that we was going to get and why we did not get it three reasons three or three what? three major well like three reasons we didn't get it but i think two of them was major deal breakers for us right and just because it was a deal breaker for us you well, might want to get that deal, one. A deal, deal breaker for you so. exactly but either way it go get you a camper get you a patches <laughs> yeah we love you're it. you're gonna love it Anyway, that's all we have for now. But if y'all ride it, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, <laughs> ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. We're going to take a nap? Let's go take a nap. Let's go take a nap. <laughs>